Hello everybody, I think that you've seen what a wide variety of different ice cream there is in supermarkets. But today we've rented out this special freezer for ice cream rolls. You can make ice cream out of anything with this thing right here. We will make the most unusual types of ice cream that you will definitely not find in the store. Let's do this. So first of all, we turn on our freezer. We decided to make the first ice cream using Red Bull. A lot of people have tried this, but it's unlikely that you can call it ice cream. Let's open it up. And as soon as the surface is covered with frost, you can pour out the Red Bull. You also need some heavy cream, at least 30%. We measure out a small amount. And pour it on top. The freezing process has already started, so we scrape the Red Bull with cream from the surface. We collect all this in the center and begin to break the ice clumps with the help of the spatulas right here. Despite the fact the Red Bull is sweet, it has been heavily diluted with cream, so we also add some powdered sugar. And now we mix it up. Well, in order for the color of the ice cream to be more unusual, we'll add some blue dye and continue to mix. And we do this until the color becomes uniform. Now we just smear this thick mass around the surface and try to make our layer of ice cream the same thickness all over. We've also made these little guides for spinning the rolls. And we twist them. Now we put them in an ice cream cup. Add some whipped cream to make it pretty. And grate some orange zest on top. That's it, the Red Bull ice cream is completely ready. Let's try it. It really tastes like Red Bull, very unusual ice cream, and it's something I've never tried before. And now I wonder if this ice cream continues to work as an energy drink. If that's the case, then in the Strange Food Championship, an ice cream like this will definitely take first place. For the next ice cream, we take two bowls. One of them we fill up with cream. And the second one with powdered sugar. We have a small watermelon that we've chosen as the main ingredient. So let's cut it in half. A lot of water flows out of it, which means it's been lying on the supermarket shelves for a really long time. We thought it was rotten, but there was no bad smell coming off of it. We decided to try it and realized that theoretically, it is possible to make baking ice cream using this watermelon. So we cut a piece off and we take out only the pulp. We pour some powdered sugar on top and pour out the cream. Now we proceed to dice it. We also add in some red dye. And we continue to mix the ice cream with spatulas. Let's smear it around. Draw our guide markers. And twist it into rolls.
We put the watermelon ice cream in a paper bowl. Top it with a little bit of whipped cream and some multicolored powder. That's it, our fresh watermelon ice cream is ready. Let's taste test it. It's very tasty. It's got a light, not at all chemical taste of watermelon. The next ice cream we will make is whipped cream, powdered sugar, Nutella, and banana. We tear off one banana. For one serving of ice cream, half should be enough for us. We peel it and spread it out on the surface. We also open up our Nutella. And we spread one teaspoon of Nutella on a banana with a little heap. Powdered sugar on top. And cream. We mix this all up just like the other ones. And twist up those rolls. Probably because of the viscosity of this Nutella, these rolls are very difficult to twist. And out of three, we only get two normal rolls. We put them into a cup. And squeeze out some whipped cream. And crumble some nuts on top. Well, let's try it out. This is the epitome of banana nut ice cream. Nutella and banana is just an awesome combination. Very tasty. The next ice cream we will have will be made using Kinder. We take three pieces. Open them up. We divide the halves. And we spread it on the surface of the freezer. Sprinkle them with some powdered sugar on top. And just dice the halves of chocolate eggs. When the chocolate has been more or less diced, pour out some cream on top. Mix this all up with the spatulas and get some air into the ice cream. Smear it around on the cold surface. And now we twist the ice rolls. For the garnish, pour on some caramel syrup. And we'll top it with some multicolored popcorn. This ice cream turned out really pretty. So, shall we try it? Oh yeah, you cannot confuse this Kinder chocolate with any other kind. It is simply divine. And if you like this type of video and would like some more, give this video your likes. And if there are 25 likes, we will rinse this freezer again and make ice cream from whatever you write to us in the comments. To choose from, we have Skittles, Raffaello, or Coca-Cola.